Hello, in this video, I'm going to respond to an email that I received from a viewer here on the channel. As always, if you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Remember, when you leave comments, other people read them and it really helps other people. So this is a very, very short message. The person's name is Khan and the message reads as follows. Hi, I am 10th grade and I want to improve myself Apart from school, how do you think I should work for this and what resources should I use? That's it. That's the message. So super short. So by improve yourself, I'm going to assume, um, you know, that means learning something perhaps. So how do you learn math? So you're trying to learn math outside of school. So if I was in 10th grade, and I had the knowledge that I have now and I wanted to learn math, here are some choices. And one of these choices is actually free. Let's start with that one. So this book here, it's called Book of Proof. It was written by Richard Hammack. This is actually a free book. Anyone uh, online with an internet connection can go online and download this book for free. Just go to Google, type in Book of Proof, and you'll find it. It's free. He makes it available for free. You can also buy it. So I recently purchased this book. Um, I had looked at the online PDF version of the book multiple times, and I had you know, worked out some of the exercises and read some of the sections. And I thought, you know what? I really want the physical book. So I bought it. So I will leave a link in the description in case you want to check this book out or, or this one. So this book will teach you how to write mathematical proofs. And the reason I think that's so important is because it will give you a fresh perspective. It will give you a different perspective. The next time you, you know, go read another math book or learn new math, you're going to have you know, just a different perspective for it. When you see a definition in a book or a fact or a theorem, you'll see, you'll ask yourself, oh, okay, so if this is true, then this is true. So if I had to prove it, I would try this maybe, or maybe you'll know how to prove it. So it'll make you better at math. Also, books like this will introduce you to different areas of math. So they broaden your horizons as well. So very, very key. This one I like a lot. This one is not free. Um, it's called How to Prove It, A Structured Approach by Daniel Vellman. And again, this is a book that I think a person, um, you, you could sit down and read and learn. This one's very well written. I like this one a lot. Um, it's great books for you know strengthening your math. Another thing you can do besides books, because you asked about resources, is you know watch videos, right? There's videos. Uh, on on YouTube. I have videos that you can watch. There's other videos. So that's a good way to. However, the thing with videos is you don't really have um, a structure. So videos are good if you have like a homework question or you want to just clear something up that you're learning from some other source. Typically, you know, a book. I'm, I'm, as much as I love videos and as many videos as I have, I do prefer I do prefer books. And if you do like videos, you can also do courses, right? There's different websites that sell courses. I actually have courses. Um, if you just go to um, my website, mathsorcerer.com, and you can see the courses there. Or in the in the this description of the video, I have links to the courses. So, and you can learn math. Those are like videos, except some of them have assignments and they're ordered, they're structured, kind of like a book is structured, you know. But yeah, that's my advice: books, videos. Uh, and that would be it, right? That would be the as far as resources. As far as how much to study and stuff, so you've got your resources, you're trying to improve yourself, now you actually have to use your resources. Well, to use your resources, what I would do is I would get a timer. Um, I have a timer and I don't know where it is. I can't find it. It's a little blue timer. And I'll leave a link in the description. And it's awesome because you can set the timer for like 30 minutes or you know 60 minutes and just do math. And if you do it every day for a little while, kind of like working out, it's those little incremental changes. You slowly get smarter, right? Slowly, and you just get better and better and better. You would be surprised how much math you could learn in two weeks. It is insane. If you actually do math every single day for two weeks, you will be surprised how good you get. Like if you just did an hour a day every day for two weeks, you will be so much better than when you started 
uh, at the beginning of, of those two weeks. So that's other advice I could give you. So try to be consistent, um, get some good books, and don't get discouraged. Um, don't let anything discourage you. Uh, a lot of times people get uh, discouraged uh, because you know they're, they're struggling with math. Math is tough, and then maybe they're in a classroom and there's a teacher. And I hear the story a lot of like, you know, oh, I like math, but my teacher was really mean or whatever. I, I think people, uh, maybe it could be the case, but um, I, I think because math is so hard, people become frustrated and teachers too, right? Because they have to explain the same thing over and over again. So it's just, you know, the nature of the beast, as they say, math is a difficult subject. So yeah, it's tough. It's tough. If anyone else has any other advice for Khan, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Remember when you leave comments, I can help other people as well. Anyways, that's it. Until next time, good luck.